Kia ora team, how's it going? Sandy here, so you've got your clever touch and you're thinking to yourself, what can I do to set up my class for tomorrow? You've got your laptop, open it up and you've got links. Links is part of the software packages that you get with the clever touch and it's free. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize a lesson for you in less than five minutes. Nice and quick, let's go into here. It's under new default and what are all these panels? Well, on the top here, these are the screen sizes for a laptop. So default 16 by nine, 16 by 10, I just go to default. And below, here's your print. But we're gonna go and design something for a laptop or a Chromebook. So we'll go default. And here on the right hand side, my choice of subjects, science, physics, sound okay great so now I've got some images for sound yep microphone that makes sense so this will be my physics style 2 physics and sound this is my lesson for physics and sound cool we'll get some images get rid of this and, and with the images, let's get back here. So with the images here, I might be okay with that, or hmm, those aren't really flash. They are, you know, um, images for sound, cool. There's drums, can be representing sound. Or I can go here, where you've got your tools of what you can do. That one's with existing content. Here, let's do a search. Physics, sound, uh, images cool so these have all been curated for classrooms so now I think this will help people visualize sound waves brilliant so now we've made it visual for people to go oh yeah cool I know what this is all about now to help help explain this just grab that, throw that in, uh, and that's me. Cool. Two minutes. Uh, as these have all been curated for the classroom, I know that if I just press play on this. When you think about it, you probably receive hundreds, even thousands of cues about what's going on in your environment every day, strictly from sound. In addition to things like speech and music, there are other bits of auditory information that shape your day. An ambulance passing by, a baby crying in the next room, and of course, sorry, just got a text. But there's a lot we can learn, not just from what these cues mean, but from how sound itself works. Studying sound waves has helped doctors learn more about our ears. Cool. So that's a good one. I'll, I'll keep that one. But maybe I'll go, oh, maybe. No. no, let's go sound properties. Drag that in. That's Khan Academy. Awesome. This is what a sound wave sounds like. But what does a sound wave look like? Well, the air through which the sound wave is traveling looks something like this. But if you want another visual representation of the sound, we can hook this speaker up to an oscilloscope and it gives us this graph. We say that this shape represents the sound wave because if we focus on a single molecule of air, we see that it moves back and forth just like a sine or cosine graph. No. The horizontal axis here represents time and the vertical axis can... Yeah, you, you learn something new every day, that's awesome. Okay, cool. I like that one, and I think I like that one, so I'll bring that down too. So I can put these in here, and that could be my lesson. So I'll just move these around. These are the visualizations to help people understand what I'm going to be talking about. And here are two resources that I can quickly click, bang onto the page, and that's my physics sound lesson in less than five minutes. Get links downloaded onto your laptop. It could be on Mac, it can be on PC. And once you've got your lesson here, this is the important part, save as. Now, once you've saved it, into Link's Cloud, 
sound two. Once you've saved it in, now the great thing is when you go into any Clever Touch panel that's connected to the internet, all you need to do is go into the panel and log into your Links Cloud. Because once you're on that panel, logged into Links Cloud, you've got everything that you saved here, right? Sound two. And then there it is. So you can move to different classrooms. Start with what you know you have in your library of lessons and you can start teaching straight away.